continuing on our story here, the wash coffee. I needed a coffee that was complex and had an acidity to it. So I went to North Kona on the other side of the Big Island. And at 3,200 feet, I found a place called Wyono Meadows. I met a family called the Boltons, and I met Malia Bolton. She let me go up to her farm and pick coffee off these beautiful trees, these red Bourbon and red Tipica. These coffees uh, just were, were really, really nice, and I took them back to Miguel Mez's backyard and pulped them just like a mile away. After pulping, I did two 12-hour dry fermentations and with a rinse in between, and what this did is it really rounded out the acidity and, and really cleaned the coffee up a lot. So that's where that ginger note is kind of coming from, is this lemon note that I find in the actual washed coffee. One last note before I go, due to the extraction profile that I have for your espresso, you're going to find a golden brown crema with some chocolate brown flecking and a little bit of red, but not a whole lot. Eric Cappuccinos for Pete. Please evaluate the crema as you normally would and stir the coffee like you normally would as well and go ahead and take a, a, a nose of the aroma of this coffee. It's got a very nice uh, tropical fruit aroma to it. I'm going to wait to taste it for just a moment while it cools. Now what I did with this coffee is I took about 50% of the honeyed coffee, about 35% of the washed coffee and 15% of the natural coffee. I layered these, I've layered the flavored components you tasted in the cappuccino on the bottom and I put the honeyed coffee on top and this creates a very unique flavor profile in the cup that I just can't get any other way. So what I actually taste in this is Meyer lemon, strawberry in the middle, a little bit of blackberry in the bottom of the cup. I taste chocolate and caramel all throughout, very sweet, uh, silky velvety body and a nice clean finish. Please enjoy it. Round of applause for Pete's Espresso. And I don't have much time left, guys, but it's been my pleasure. This experience of bringing your coffee from the fruit to the cup to you has been the most enlightening and humbling experience of my life. It's a pleasure. Huge round of applause. Pete Licata, Honolulu Coffee Roasting. Congratulations. Thank you. You looked very comfortable. I felt pretty comfortable, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did it, did it go well in your head? Are you feeling good about this? Yeah. You know, I mean, the speech was my biggest you know, concern, I think. Uh, it's one of those things where, how is it going to come out? How are you, sure. you going to speak? Is everything going to come through clearly? And I think I stumbled on talking about my wash. I really wanted to talk about the wash coffee, you know. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, it was, it was great. I was very, very happy. Um, in practice, you know, time always shifts a little bit. and. Uh, you know, I always practiced having like an extra minute at the end and, right. uh, you know, I didn't have quite that time. I had to interrupt the judges while they were tasting the espresso and, you know, I have to apologize for that. But I really had to, you know, I really wanted to say the last, you know, words at the end of the day. So. Sure. Oh, yeah, I, I think your story's fantastic and that, that 15 minutes feels very polished. Mm -hmm. I, I think you have a lot to be proud of. 
Thanks. Can I can I have a shot of your espresso? Of course you can. Thank you. <laughs> While I'm uh, getting ready to enjoy Pete's coffee, let's give him one one more round of applause. <laughs> Finalist number two, 2011 United States Barista Championship, here in Houston, Texas. 